What are the causes of hearing loss? This is an excellent question and I am excited to answer it today. If you're new to my channel, my name is Emily. Welcome, I am so glad you are here. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to making more excellent content and want you to know when it comes out. Also, when you subscribe to my channel, you become a part of the definite hearing community. If you're here, you most likely know someone with hearing loss or have hearing loss yourself. And this is an excellent safe place to meet other people who have hearing loss and learn more about my experience with hearing loss. If you're new, like I said, my name is Emily. I have two hearing aids and boy, do I love them. I have a moderate to severe sensory neural congenital hearing loss. I've had hearing aids since I was four months old and they are amazing. I created this channel to share my experiences with others. I hope you stick around to the end of this video because if you do, I am going to share a tip about coping with hearing loss. All right, so to talk about the causes of hearing loss, I broke down all of the causes, well, many of the causes. I don't know that I could encapsulate all of the causes, but I broke down the causes of hearing loss into four different sections. Environmental, natural causes, injuries, and viruses or diseases. Number one, environmental. This means that things around you are the cause of the hearing loss. The most common cause of hearing loss is noise exposure. Noise exposure can be due to a loud work environment, excessive music exposure, or other things where noise is the cause of a hearing loss. Number two, natural causes. This can include aging, or genetics. Did you know that one in three people over the age of 65 in the US have some sort of hearing loss? Yes, hearing loss is a widespread thing that many people deal with, yet it's not talked about a lot. And you'd think with that many people struggling with it, we would talk about it more, but we don't which is why I created this channel. And the next natural cause is due to genetics. That is how I got my hearing loss. Did you know that 95% of children that are born with a hearing loss like I was, that is genetic, are born to hearing parents? Yeah, my parents had no idea that their genetics would cause a hearing loss in not just me, but my sister as well. And my sister was born and diagnosed before I was. So because I was the next child, they checked me right at birth and diagnosed me with my loss. And wow, they entered this world of hearing loss and they had no idea that this would be coming. And they had ups and downs and it was overwhelming at times, but boy, they made some great choices and I'm grateful for their efforts. All right, so number three, injuries. It is common for hearing loss to be a comorbid symptom or side effect of some other health concern. So if you find that you're struggling to hear, definitely go get your hearing checked because it could be a symptom or a side effect of a greater underlying problem. And if you experience any sort of head trauma or big injury, just be aware that if you are feeling like you're having a difficult time hearing, you could indeed be experiencing hearing loss. Hearing loss section number four, viruses or diseases. Wow, this could be a very lengthy list, but hearing loss can come due to many viruses or diseases, such as viral infections, shingles, meningitis, diabetes, strokes, high fevers, Meniere's disease, tumors, obesity, smoking, hypertension, and other infections. In addition to infections, the medications used to treat infections or other health concerns can also cause hearing loss. This is called ototoxicity. The bottom line is if you think that you're struggling to hear or other people are telling you that you're having a difficult time hearing, you should go get your hearing checked. It can be really hard and sometimes feel embarrassing that, wow, I'm not hearing people. But I promise you, if you are experiencing hearing loss and you go get your hearing checked and you properly address it, you will realize that you hear so many more things. Your relationships will improve and it will be amazing. Thank you for sticking around to the end of this video. I wanted to share one way to cope with hearing loss. Now, you heard the long extensive list of things that can cause hearing loss. Don't let this discourage you. Realize that though something may happen to you that you have no control over, you can address and assess your hearing loss. So do what it takes to treat it. Go visit a doctor, go visit an audiologist, listen to their advice. Don't hesitate to propose getting hearing aids or some kind of hearing device to help you. But as you help your body and you address any health concerns, you will feel that happiness that comes in taking care of your body and any health concerns that may arise. Now, I wanna say I'm not a doctor myself. I'm just a person that has dealt with hearing loss and boy, 
I am grateful that I have hearing aids and options to help me hear. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. I look forward to answering them and getting to know all of you more. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Like I said earlier, I look forward to making more excellent videos. Until next time, have a great day.